guys, so one thing that you guys have suggested I talk about is how do I stop caring what people think of me? A lot of you guys do suggest video ideas through my social media. For those of you who don't know, my social media is Click for Taz on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all of it is just Click for Taz. So you can find me through there and suggest videos you guys would like me to talk about. We all care what people think of us. It's just part of our human nature but sometimes we let it affect us more than it should. We change our behavior in fear of being embarrassed or ashamed. We wanna feel accepted, we wanna fit in, so we conform to what society tells us to do. So for example, let's use high school as one setting and you're dressing a certain way and everyone else is dressing differently. Everyone makes fun of the way you dress and so that makes you question yourself. You don't want to feel embarrassed or ashamed for the way you look, so you change how you dress to fit in. And as a result, you're more accepted by the people. Problem is, you liked how you originally dressed because it was your choice. It's what you liked to wear. Now that you've changed the way you dress, yes, you're fitting in and people aren't calling you names and things, but you no longer like the way you dress. It wasn't your choice. You didn't choose to dress this way. If you had it your way, you'd go back to the way you used to dress. Another example is um, choosing a degree to study. Maybe you like to study arts and drama, but your teachers are telling you that there's no job prospects in that and you should study something like law, which is more academic and will have a better career path. Turns out after you get your degree, you're no longer happy because that degree wasn't something that you chose to do, so you don't enjoy it. You enjoy doing drama and arts, but you chose to do something because of what everyone else told you to do. Now, when we do act on what other people think of us, we're basically giving away our worth and putting it into someone else's hands. Okay, so let's explain this with some big analogy. Um, say who you are is your own superpower. You're unique, you're different. You have your own personality traits, your own characteristics. There's no one out there like you. You have, you possess superpowers. What makes you different is your power. When you're yourself and you trust yourself, you are strong, you are indestructible. But if you start to listen to other people and change yourself to fit in, slowly you stop being unique. You're effectively giving your powers away to other people and that makes you weak and regular and boring. You're just like everyone else. You no longer stand out. You're no longer a superhero because you're just like everyone else. Now, if you possess superpowers, it would seem crazy to give them away. Why are you going to give away your powers and be like everyone else when you can be unique and crazy and strong and indestructible? And that's how you should see being yourself and why you shouldn't care what people think, at least not to the point where it starts affecting who you are as a person. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of impressed with how that analogy came out. Came up with that all by myself, guys. So basically, moral of the story is be your own superhero. It's really cheesy and cliche, but I like it. I'ma be my own superhero, and you should too. Put that on a t-shirt. Now, there's nothing wrong in caring what people think of us. Like I said, it's human nature. We've been brought up to think that way. We've been conditioned from an early age to care what people think. Growing up, you spend your whole life in this bubble. You got the school, you got your parents, you got your friends, all telling you what they expect from you, how you should act, how you should speak, uh, and you know, who you should be. But what happens is as you grow up, you slowly gain more and more independence. And when you finally finish the schooling system, you've got your degree, you've graduated high school, um, and you can finally be yourself, we're lost. We don't know what to do with ourselves because for the first time in our life, we get to think for ourselves and it's scary and we crumble. And instead of making our own decisions, we start seeking validation and approval from other people. Like, okay, what should I do now? Um, is this right? Is this wrong? Um, do I look silly doing this? Is this embarrassing? Oh, maybe I should change it. That's what this person's doing. So maybe I should do what they're doing. And we start to make decisions on our lives based on what other people think. And that's not healthy. A lot of this need of wanting to please other people comes from insecurity. We're scared, we don't wanna fail, we don't wanna be embarrassed, we don't wanna feel ashamed, and the easiest route seems to be to conform and just do what people tell you to do. Because then if you fail, it's like, well, everyone else was doing the same thing, or you don't know how to blame yourself, you can just blame other people. But then you start making choices based on what people want you to be. Who wants to spend their whole life living it just to please other people? 
you're never going to be happy. And then what happens, you get to the age of say 40, you have a midlife crisis, you don't know who you are as a person, you don't know where your life's going, you can't seem to make any decisions, you feel very lost. And that's all because you never even set out to make your own decisions to start with. The only way you can eradicate those problems or at least minimize them is taking back the control into your own hands. And that requires you trusting yourself. And the key to taking control back into your own life is not caring what people think of you. You have to accept yourself for who you are. And at first that is terrifying. Making big life decisions is scary. You don't know what you want, but slowly as you make one decision after the other, you start to learn more about your values, what you like, what are your interests, what do you want to do with your life. The key to not caring what people think is understanding who you are first. First of all, you need to accept yourself for who you are. We are all flawed human beings. No one is perfect. And that's okay, that is more than fine. There are gonna be people out there who just don't like you. They're gonna say mean things. They're gonna critique the way you speak, the way you look, the things you're doing with your life. They may not approve of how you live your life. And that's perfectly fine, that's their opinion. But that doesn't mean that the opinion's right from your perspective. Just because people don't like the way you dress doesn't mean you should then change the way you dress to fit in. Well, this is how I like to dress. It may not be how you like me to dress, but this is my life, so I'm gonna dress how I want to be. You're not gonna please everyone, it's just impossible. You, you're you never gonna get to a point in your life where you're gonna make everyone in your life happy. It's just not going to happen. And if you live your life trying to please everyone else, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say you should never listen to another person's opinion ever, because that is terrible advice. <laughs> um, because if you do that, you just end up being a very selfish and arrogant person. And no one likes selfish, arrogant people. A big part of living our life is that we're learning and we're growing and we're gonna take feedback and we're gonna change who we are as a person through time by what we learn. It's about knowing when to listen to someone's opinion. Not everyone's opinion matters or is valid from your perspective. For example, if someone says they don't like the way you dress and you should change it because you're ugly, that's how's that affecting your life in a positive way? It's not, it's just negative. You can get rid of that opinion, that's no good. But say if you're trying to make a decision in your career and someone who's in the same career field has more knowledge than you, um, has more experience, they can, that would be someone you should listen to. They can give you advice that helps you and you can gain from it. The reason why you shouldn't listen to everyone's opinion is because opinions are subjective. So when they're giving you an opinion, it's coming from their mindset and their perspective on the world. How they see the world may be completely different from how you see the world. How my parents see the world is very different from how I see the world. The fact is living a life where you're constantly trying to please other people is like living in a trap. And the only way to get out of that trap is by being yourself. Once you start to regain control and understand that, you know what? I'm going to make my own decisions. I'm gonna accept who I am. I know that these are my values. These are what I like. This is how I like to dress. This is what I wanna study. With each decision you make, you slowly learn to trust yourself. You start to regain confidence. Is it scary and predictable, daunting uh, to figure out who you are? Yes, but it's also great. Once you start having control of your life and saying, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and I'm not gonna be embarrassed or ashamed of who I am, that's an awesome feeling. And it takes time, but you're never gonna get there if you don't take the first step. So yeah, I hope you guys have taken something away from this video, and I hope you guys will become your own superheroes and be awesome, incredible people that go on to do crazy, amazing things. If you guys have any more suggestions of video topics you guys would like me to talk about, leave them down in the comments below or on my social media or links on my social media in the description box. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.